Hey guys, this is a Briggs & Stratton engine I pulled out of a, uh, a Sears Craftsman L2000 lawnmower that was given to me. I did a video on that, I guess about a year ago. And I'll put a link in the description down below if you're interested in watching that. Um, this engine did suffer a catastrophic failure in the video on that lawnmower where I was diagnosing it. I did use a boroscope and look down in the cylinder and you could see some damage in there and that's what led me to just go ahead and scrap the engine but i thought it'd be fun just to go ahead tear into this engine a little bit and see exactly what did happen to it and why my suspicion is it went it's probably its entire lifetime without an oil change it's just a little bit left over but when i drain the oil out of it nice big chunks of metal was falling out too it is a 2000 yeah it's a 2004 model year so it did serve i guess it served the owner pretty well for about 15 years i don't know give or take but anyway i'm gonna put you in a stand we'll start tearing into it and see what happened all right i'm gonna go ahead and take the uh top shroud and everything off then I'm going to flip the round and I'll go ahead and pull off the head and we'll take a look down in the cylinder first and then we'll maybe flip it over and pull the uh, bottom bottom casing off see how bad that is down in that end Get some good parts off of this, I guess. A couple little things. I already stole the carburetor off of it on a different project. A couple other little pieces. Sit up a little bit. There we go. And now we shall go in. See how bad it is. Maybe. You didn't see that coming, did you? Yep. I'll pull off the exhaust. Can't get that bolt. Can't get the head bolt behind that exhaust. I don't know, what's the chances of this? Hey, look at that. We get lucky again. <laughs> Little problem there. And I'm gonna have to come up with plan B on that one. I can't get the socket down in there. I don't know if I can twist. I doubt it. Get lucky, get lucky. I don't think so. Huh? 
Yeah, turn them a little bit. Been in there a few years. I'm surprised it came out that easy. To be honest with you. <laughs> I think my ratchet is about done. And now for the big reveal, let's see what the damage is. Whole lot of carbon build up. Awful lot of carbon in there. Exhaust gate or yeah, exhaust push rod. The aluminum's your intake. Let me uh get you a better look at this. This does have an awful lot of carbon built up in it. I don't know, maybe it was running rich for a long time. I don't know. But what I saw on the boroscope really isn't jiving with what I'm seeing now. And that piston, as you can see, I am turning. Well, zoom me out a little bit, maybe you can see. But I am turning the flywheel and that piston is not moving at all so that connecting rod is junk in half but I thought that I saw pitting in here and surprisingly I don't and I ain't doing the best camera work top end doesn't look that bad at all I'm surprised because I thought there was going to be a bunch of pitting in there after looking down the spark plug hole with the boroscope but I guess what I was seeing it wasn't pitting it was probably just some carbon I guess I don't know it fooled me anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing turned around and we'll tear in the bottom in and see how bad that is and I'll bring you back as soon as I'm ready to tear into the bottom And in we go. Found my little extension there. I didn't have it earlier. seem to bust my knuckles no matter what. Yeah. 
Oops. Drop stuff again. And is that all of them? I think it is. And in we go. If I have all the bolts off, that is. There it goes. And let's see. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. Yeah, there's major chunks, huh? Major chunks falling out. That's the bottom of actually that's the side of the connecting rod. There is another piece. A yeah, bunch of pieces of that connecting rod. I don't know if you can see down in there right there. That's the other end of the piston. Maybe I can get something in there and pry that out. See if I can get back down in there and pry this piston out of there. Maybe get a better look at that. right maybe force her out and there it is and that is what is left of the bottom end of your connecting rod even left a little bolt in there now I think what happened is is they never changed the oil because when I drained the oil out of this thing it was black and nasty and it loses its viscosity over time plus with all the carbon build up in that cylinder you know that carbon amount of it always gets past the rings and into the oil and I, I think you know it's just my guess but I think that ultimately is what led to the, the failure of this simple not changing the oil because you can see it looks like it kind of spun on there a while before it actually heated up and broke the connecting rod and I think that's exactly what happened. Well, that's pretty much what caused the demise of this engine. The crank is junk. The journal on it's all tore up real bad. There are a couple good parts in here I'm going to keep. Um, they appear to be okay. The camshaft, it doesn't really look like the lobes are wore down. I'll have to check them. I like the fact it's got a metal gear on it and not that plastic. Uh, let me flip it up on its side and if you look down the cylinder down there in the center you can see that that rod journal is completely wiped out I think it shows up on video I'm not sure but it is no good so this motor is pretty much junk other than for some parts and I think this engine could have had a bit more life left in it if they would have changed the oil at least yearly. A lot of carbon was built up in it, so I believe the it was probably running a bit, I don't know, I guess rich. Built up all that carbon in there. Some of that passes by the rings, mixes in with the oil, deteriorates the oil. And I believe, just my opinion, that's what led to the failure of this. But... If you got any other ideas, go ahead and uh, put them in the comments below. And just want to thank you for hanging out with me in the garage today. Have a good day.